she didn't see it. Hey, kia ora. Helen Brown's coming to you live from Claremont, Florida. I hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day. We've got a very windy day here today, as you can tell by my hair. I've, we've been out been for our walk. Zephy's done some digging. <gasps> Proud mama moment. Got to show you. See the green thingy draped across the corner of her toy box there? That's Zephy's toy box. See the green thing draped across the corner? This smart cookie this morning for the very first time. Look at that big smile on her face. She's so proud of herself. When I told her it was time to go for our walk, she goes running into the bedroom because she pulled that toy out to play with it. She had taken it into the bedroom to chomp on it while I was getting ready. And she brings it in. So she runs into the bedroom, comes out with it, and puts it there on her toy box. That is the first time she has ever put any toys back into her toy box i am so proud of her because that was on our training schedule this week was to learn to put our toys away and she sees me every night before we go to bed i pick up her toys and put them in the toy box so very very proud of my little girl this morning um so i'm bragging um, <laughs> it's yeah it's it's very windy here too um so we just got back from our morning walk Yesterday, I totally forgot to empty the tanks, so I have to go empty the tanks this morning. Then I can go take my shower, because my tanks are usually filled by Sunday, and I totally forgot yesterday was Sunday, well, was the day I was supposed to empty my tanks. Um, didn't even think to do it on Saturday. I could have done it on Saturday, but totally forgot to do that. Um, so yeah, so I haven't had my shower yet. I did a sponge bath, but got to go have a shower before I get on my calls. But anyway, goals of the day. Good morning, everyone. Um, good morning, Valentino from New York. How are you doing this morning? Having a super fantastic start to your day? Good morning, Diane. Are you having a super fantastic sparkling start too? Okay, your goals for today, your challenges for today. Mindset is calm. There's a, uh, there's a lot of apps out there that will help you with meditation, breathing, all of that sort of stuff. But the one that I like the most is calm. They have this breathing exercise on there that kind of goes like this with you as you breathe. And it tells you to breathe in for to the count of four, hold for two, breathe out for the count of four. So you're doing every 10 seconds, you're doing an inhale and an exhale. Um, for me, if the, re if the other reason I put calm there too is take time to meditate, just sit quietly. Um, when you're sitting quietly, if you're like me, who has a brain that goes all the time, then you want to find a way to calm that down every now and again. And so I've gotten into the habit, it hasn't formed yet, but I am getting into the habit of doing quiet just having a quiet moment just taking you know five to ten minutes just to sit there and just breathe and sometimes when you sit there and just breathe and you concentrate on the air going in holding it and releasing it and as you've got that if you're hearing a noise somebody's playing with her green toy um and um, as you're doing that breathing, just concentrate on the breathing. Don't concentrate, don't think about anything else. Don't concentrate on anything. Just concentrate on the air going into your lungs, holding it, and then releasing it. And you do that for five for about five minutes a day, and it's very refreshing. And bright. and quite often, during that calm, solutions will come, um, or it just brings your whole sense of peace all over your body. You relax, um, and you're better able to cope with the day. So there's times throughout the day where. I take a nap or sometimes I will just sit and just breathe for five to ten minutes and that's all I do is just concentrate on breathing for five to ten minutes. Your business challenge is follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. The key, they say the money is in the follow up. That is so true. Did you know for every month you do not have contact with a client, you lose 10% of your influence with that client. So think of the last time you contacted a client, if it was before the coronavirus mayhem, um, then that was, you know, that was probably a couple of months ago. So you've now, if you haven't contacted them, you've lost 20% of your influence with them. So make sure you're reaching out to them. And it could just be something like sending a card to say, hi, how are you? Um, there's a great workshop coming up that's free. It is on April 25th. It's a Saturday. It starts at 9 a.m. Pacific. It's four hours. It's a free online workshop all about follow-up. All the way, different ways that you can follow up um, different method, method, methodologies for following up different ways, you know, phone calls and magazine articles, and they go through all of them and explain them all and how to get a process in place so that your follow-up system doesn't fail, so that you're maintaining your contact with your clients, even through times like this, because when this is all over, your clients are going to go, your clients are going to look at how you treated them during this time, and if you didn't give them the time of day or even just stop to check in and say, hi, how are you? They're not going to be bothered with you. You didn't bother contacting me while I, during the whole pandemic to see what was going on. You know, they may have coronavirus. You don't know because you haven't been checking in. But if you take the time to just contact them every now and again, just once a month, 
um, have a process in place to do that follow-up then you're going to maintain that client during all of this and when we come out at the end of it you will still have that client because you were awesome to them during that time so this workshop that's coming up on april 25th is going to take you through how to set up a process it's a hands-on workshop so by the time you finish this workshop on the 25th you are going to have in your hands a playbook which will have your process for your follow-up system in play ready to go all you got to do is implement it and they'll even talk to you about implementing it and all of that sort of stuff too. So April 25th, go to followupriches.com. I will put the link into the description. Um, it is well worth the four hours that you're going to be there. There's two amazing people who are very good with system and processes and implementing stuff. And when it comes to follow-up, these guys are the kings. You've got Casey Eberhardt and you've got Bajal. Um, I totally forgot Bajal's last name. Sorry, Bajal. Um, but two amazing guys who are going to be your... Um, your mentors through this workshop and they're going to give you such they're going to be value dropping bombs all over the place talk about being bombarded with golden nugget golden nuggets you are going to get them by the truckload in this workshop so come along it's april 25th followupriches.com just go to that website um, and like i said i'll put it in the description for you but it will give you a system you'll you have a by the end of the workshop you'll have a system set up or ready to implement um on how to follow up with your clients and keep them top of, and keep you top of mind with them. So when this pandemic is over and they need your services again, they're going to come back to you. They're not going to go looking for somebody else because you didn't give a shit, didn't give a, a crap. Well, didn't didn't care about them during this time. <laughs> trying to keep it, trying to keep it clean. Um, and then your fun activity today is learning. Go learn a new game, learn a new hobby, learn a new game, It'll learn something. Um, just something fun, something you've always wanted to do. Have you always wanted to learn to play the piano? Do you have a keyboard handy? You've got online programs that you can go, you've got YouTube that you can go and learn stuff from. Um, do you want to learn a new board game? Do you want to learn a new card game? Learn a new card trick? Um, you know, go find something new to learn today that you've always been interested in. Go search on YouTube to see if you've got lessons on there on how to do it. Or, you know, figure out to learn something new, learn a new hobby. Um, or at least learn more about a hobby that you're interested in to see if it's something that you want to pursue later on when we're free to go range and shop and all that sort of thing as well. So that's it from me for today. I'm off to empty my tanks, have some breakfast and have a shower and then I've got a call in 50 minutes. Have a super fantastic sparkling day and we will catch you guys this evening. Heck on era.